other big announcement from health officials today. Penalties are coming for large private parties, a step BC has not yet seen before. Alyssa Thibault is live on the Granville Strip, where we have seen a number of large gatherings at night. Alyssa. Yeah, Scott, this area has been a huge challenge for Vancouver Police, trying to keep people apart on the streets here as they empty out of the venues. But it's actually what's happening indoors. It's what the public isn't seeing that is causing most concern for officials. Now, we told you about this party that happened on Vancouver Island over the weekend. This is the kind of thing the new crackdown is focusing on. People gathering in large groups indoors with people outside of their bubble. The health minister today said private parties are difficult to police because it's not illegal to have visitors inside your home but this week there will be stricter penalties announced there are those who tap into the fact that we're all tired using a pandemic to pander to those who are already who are ready to bend the rules not the curve comes with consequences now, health officials were also asked today about these events over the weekend, the large gatherings happening on Wreck Beach and English Bay. There has been very strong reaction from the public to this, but health officials said today that while these parties are concerning, the rate of transmission in outdoor settings is actually considerably lower. The number of transmissions that have been uh, reported in purely outdoor settings has been very, very limited. The vast number, of, vast amount of transmission is occurring in close, close, prolonged contact, especially in indoor settings. So the big concern remains on these indoor private parties, but just what those penalties will be for the people that host these events or what the specific criteria will be, we don't know just yet. We are expecting an announcement from the Solicitor General, Mike Farnworth, later this week. Okay, so Alyssa, you talked about those penalties for organisers of parties, but what about fines for other people ignoring the rules? Well, Scott, we actually put that question out through uh, CTV's social media feeds today. We asked people if they think the people who uh, go against the physical distancing measures, whether they should be fined. We had a response, over 2,000 people responded, and overwhelmingly 90% said yes. Scott? All right, thank you, Alyssa.